Hey, how's it going guys? Wonderful here, and today I'm going to be showing you Vega X, which is my free script executor that has no keys and over 500 scripts built into it. This executor can run almost every script that you put on it, and I actually just updated it today with a ton of cool new features as you can see right here. And if this is your first time using Vega X or you're trying to get the new update, I'll have a video linked in the description that shows you how to download it and use it. So yeah. So when you first download it, it's going to look something like this, so I'm just going to open it up. And as you can see right here, I'm going to skip the loading and this is what you're first going to see. So you have your main menu. This is where you can attach, execute, do all your normal things. And then there's a massive script hub with over 500 scripts right here. This is page one, page two, and page three. And anything that you see here that has a check mark next to it means that I just added it in this most recent update. And here you go. You could store all of your scripts in here. So I could put one script in here, click add tabs. I can add another tab, put another script in here, and then I could execute these two scripts separately. There's also multiple APIs on here. All you have to do is click this button. It's going to switch between all of them. And then on the script hub as well, you have these two buttons you can switch between. So yeah, really, really nice stuff there. If you click on themes, you could also switch the theme of the whole UI. And if you want to add your own custom theme, all you have to do is take your image. So right here, I have this GIF image. I'm going to drop it right here. And then there you go. As you can see, it became the background now. And you can also combine this with this. So I can go like a gray background and then I can reset it. You can also remove your custom theme if you want to. And then right here you have your options tab. So in this tab you can kill Roblox, which is going to force close it. There's some mini games you could play if you want to do like a flappy bird or something. You have your bypass anti-cheat. You can do the simpler UI if you don't like the bigger UI. And here's all the patch notes from the most recent update that I just did. So there's there you go. If you want to download the newest version, join the Discord server. You can open up an adjustable scripts menu, which is just some small things you could do in most games. And if you want explanations for the rest of the stuff on this menu, just click this button right here and I have all the stuff over here for it. Of course, anti-AFK is going to make sure you don't get kicked from a game after 20 minutes of being idle. And yeah, that's pretty much all the stuff on the options tab. So moving on back over here to this script or this menu, as you can see, a lot of other stuff on here. I mean, you have your script manager, so you can click this. You could put a script in here. Let's name it jailbreak. And then let's say we type in the script right here. I can save it. And it'll be right over here now. I can click open script and it's going to open up or I can delete it. And you can also execute it, save it, put it as a file. And if you're confused, you can also just read this right here. It has a full like list of how to use it. And then right here, if you come back onto the, this main menu, as you can see, there's this thing right here. This is your basically your own script hub that you can build for yourself. And if you're wondering how you add and remove scripts to this, come over here into this file, click scripts. And then this is all the scripts that are currently loaded in. They're just like example script. So of course, you can put your own like paste bin scripts in here or just put them in a .txt file. And then right here, if you come back on, just click refresh scripts. And that's going to refresh this list right here and basically load in all your scripts for you. But yeah, that's pretty much all the stuff that you have on the main menu of this exploit. So now I'm going to come into a game really quickly and show you guys how to just basically use it. So I'm going to join up into a normal base play game. Or actually, let's do prison life just as an example. I'm going to join in prison life. Okay, and then once you're in your game, all you have to do is come over here to the top left and pick your API. So in my opinion, I think EX API is a little bit better. But if it's not working for you, you can always use WRD. Just click this right here. Click attach. Wait for this to open. Then there you go. It's attached. It's going to give you a little message. There we go. And then right here, you, this is where you can execute any script that you want to use. So you can either paste in your script right here. So for example, I have this prison life script and then you click execute and then there we go. It's loaded up or the alternative thing you could do is come over here to the script hub, of course, and click either EX API or WRD. And this is, you have to do the same one that you attached with. So I attached with EX. So I'm going to use that and let's see, what do I have for this game? So I actually have a couple scripts for prison life. I think I have one. Okay, so I have one script right here, the Nexus GUI. So I'm just going to click this. And we'll come back over here to the game. And as you can see, we have this script loaded up now. And in my opinion, this script isn't really as good as this one right here. So I'm going to show you guys this for just for as an example. So here we go. I'm going to click toggleable Killora with P. Just walk next to someone and they're going to die. And I think we can also use like ESP or walk speed, jump power, stuff like this. Walk around really fast, literally killing everybody in the game. He's dead. He's dead. He's dead. Really, really easy. 
Yeah, I hope you guys get the idea with this. It's really simple to use. And if you want to use something else like infinite yield, this is where most of the stuff is. You can just click this, type in your command. For example, I'll do invisfling. There we go, invisfling. Wait for myself to respawn. There we go. Wait a few seconds to load. Oh, okay. Well, it looks like there's another exploiter in the game. He's flinging people around and doing admin commands in the chat. But yeah, so really, really simple. I mean, if you're trying to use infinite yield, usually this won't happen. And if you come over here to the, uh, over here, if you actually attach with the WRD API, I'm going to do that right now. So all you have to do is join up into a game, click this button, attach, and then here we go. Once it attaches, you can leave the game now, come back onto your desktop. And as you can see in this folder now, we have some more uh, folders that opened up. So now we have an auto execute folder. We have our scripts folder, which was already there. Logs, workspace for storing scripts and stuff. And if any of these things aren't working for you, like for example, you can't attach or you can't do anything. One of the most common things you could do is just click this, delete easy exploits dll.dll, not this one, this one, delete it, and then also delete exploit-main.dll. And if you're, if you're kind of confused on this, the easier way to do it would just be to reinstall it. But yeah, so it's just like an easy way. If you want to like a more in-depth way of fixing all your errors, just click this. Copy this pastebin link, paste it into your browser, so right here, paste it in, and then as you can see, this is some fixes for your errors. Then of course, if nothing else works, you could just join my Discord server and we can help you out there. But yeah, so that's all there is for this update. I guess I'll show you guys it in one more game or end off the video. You have a new loading screen on here. But here's a game that pretty much everyone is playing right now, Mining Simulator 2. And let's see how it works in here. So I actually have a couple scripts I put on here. I have the Mining Simulator 2 GUI number 2. And then right here, this is a little bit of a better GUI if you want to use that one. But yeah, so let's see right here. I'm going to attach first. I'm just going to use WRD API just as an example. Here we go. Attach. And again, if this API isn't working for you, just click the attach button a couple times, like maybe three times. Yeah, here we go. I'm going to go to the script hub. Click Mining Simulator 2. Oops, I forgot to click this, so click WRD API, Mining Simulator 2. Load up our script in a couple seconds here. So here we go, this is the script. Close out of the script hub. And then right here, this is your autos tab, so you have like your auto farm things. Everything's going to work completely fine. Right here, mine aura. Going to mine the blocks around me and give me some stuff. You could do auto sell. You can automatically buy backpacks. Equip best, equip best tools. So for this game, if you're using this script, you could basically leave it on overnight with the right configurations and just like completely dominate this game. Like you could probably get to this guy's stats in a couple hours, honestly. Maybe not his eggs. Jeez, that guy has a lot of eggs open. But yeah, so pretty cool stuff. That's all I'm going to be showing for like gameplay in this video. So I hope you guys liked the video. If you did, be sure to leave a like, subscribe if you can, and as always, peace.